Hey, I'm Phoenix. Welcome back to the Altar of Amps. Today we're going to talk about bending strings while soloing. This is often what separates the men from the boys, guys, because the man who can whip into a really big bend in the middle of a very fast, complicated phrase will often be the one who comes away sounding more slippery and more epic. What I'm going to do is just throw a phrase at you that is jam-packed with a bunch of different bending techniques. Then we'll dissect it and look at each one one at a time. Hey, there's no reason why, with a little bit of practice, you can't add a few of these to your arsenal. And the amp we'll be using today, 1965 Fender Princeton Reverb Blackface model. These are about 15 watts maximum. My favorite speaker, the 10-inch Jensen. Runs on two 6V6 power tubes, 5U4GB rectifier, and a variety of 12AX7s and 12AT7s in the preamp stage. No self-respecting studio would be without one of these. Now this probably isn't a phrase you'll use for anything. This is just designed to throw a whole bunch of bends together using different techniques so we can examine them. Suppose it'll something like this. <laughs> first note is actually your first bend. You're going to slide into it. Now, of course, you want to bend that note a full step. The second one want to take that up a full step and then bring it back down and it's going to sound like almost one note and you want to have a little hang time just like Michael Jordan when he's going to the basket you want to stay up here a little bit now the second bend is also a full step now that one, we're going to take to the top and bring back down with the vibrato. The third one is a very slick and slippery bend, and I like to use it a lot in a shredding solo. Now this is, you're going to be using your B and, and E string, and this is going to be stretching up a full step. And you want to still have a little bit of hang time so it sounds slippery. The next one is a very Hendrixy thing. Putting your little finger on the B and your third finger on your G, you're going to create tension by sliding and bending the G note away from the B, which remains stationary. The next one is a finishing bend to finish the phrase using the first finger. This is to uh, <clears throat> make sure you know how important it is that you can bend successfully and well with each finger. <laughs> Like this one up here, we're going to bend this up and bring it back down to a vibrato. Bend it up a full step. The next 
bend, we're going to add a note to it, a half step up at the top of the bend. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by the altar of amps. This is Phoenix saying, play hard, play naked.